Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long and we're going to be looking at icons which you can use in any Microsoft program, particularly Word or PowerPoint. So let's show you these new little icons that you can use to spruce up your PowerPoints. So let's say you've got a slide and you really want to spruce it up a bit with a bit of imagery. So we've got possible matric dance themes and I really want a masquerade ball under the sea and ancient Egypt theme. But we want to have some sort of imagery to help with the labels. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come here to insert and you'll notice something that's quite new is the icons option. Which if I click on will start to load the icons. And then here you'll see all these little lovely little pictures that you can use. Now just take note that these are only available with Office 365 and they're only available if you've got internet access because they load them from the internet. So if your internet's off, you might not be able to access the stock images. So as you can see, there are lots of different categories. So you can see this is all you can go to interface and see all the ones to do with interfacing. You can go food or drink. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of lovely little categories that you can use for your particular PowerPoint. But I'm looking for a mask. So I'm going to actually just search for mask. And there's all my masks. Now, I really like that one for my masquerade ball. So I'm going to click on it. But I want others. So I'm not going to insert it yet. I'm going to look for others. So let's go and search for under the sea. So I'm going to search for C. And there we've got a whole bunch of them as well. I really like the little mermaid. So I'm going to pick the mermaid. So now I've got two that I'm going to insert. And then I want ancient Egypt. So I'm going to type for Egypt. And there we go. That pyramid will be great. So I'll use those three. So I'm going to insert those. Actually, I'm also going to add some dance in. So I'm going to add a dance. Let's see if there's some dance stuff. There we go. There, that one with the two people dancing. I'm going to add that one to my set of options to add. So I'm, let's insert them. And it'll download them and it'll insert them in the middle here. Now they're all together. So I'm going to move them to the side. And then I'm going to separate them quickly. So there's the mask. There's the mermaid. There's the pyramid. And there are the people dancing. So I'm going to use the masquerade ball over here. And then I'm going to use the little mermaid over here. And then I'm going to use the pyramids over here. And just line them up quite nicely. Just some features that you can do. So for example, you can select all of them by pressing Control and selecting multiple ones. And when you come here, you can see the the graphics option where you can change the size of them they tend to be square in shape so if you change the one it'll lock the aspect ratio and there we can change the graphics full and we can actually add an outline as well so maybe we want to have a white theme for our actual icons but we want a nice outline so i'm going to make it a little darker outline i'm actually going to make that outline just a little bit thicker so we can see it a bit better and there you can see your lovely little diagram that we've got with each of our headings now the reason why i got this one as well because because I want to show you that when you've got an icon, you can make it really nice and big. And what we're going to do is we're also going to change. Let's change the to a different color. Let's use some more vibrant colors there. Let's make it like that. And we can use a white outline like that. So there we go. There's our little people dancing. Now what you can do if you don't like a part of the icon, we can actually right click on the icon and we can convert it to a shape. Now if I do that, then I've actually separated them into individual shapes, which I can now move around. Now the thing is, it's not an icon anymore that's why if you're going to change the colors and so on i would do that first and then convert to a shape but now i've got them maybe you don't want the second person so we can just delete the person altogether and have just the one person so you can play around with that if you don't like the icon that you use you can always just right click on the icon and change the graphic and we want to change from icons and then you can go select another mask if we want and maybe I want that one instead. And if I do that, you'll see that it maintains the color and the outline layout of the previous setting. So that's how you can get your icons. Another feature which you can use if you've got, for example, bulleted points, we want to actually change the bulleted points. We can come over here to the bullets and numbering and we're going to select a picture. But now we're going to pick a picture from icon. So if we select there, we can go and select a particular icon. So we want the dance icon. So let's say we want that person that's dancing. Insert. And there you can see my bullet point is now the person that's dancing that icon that we used. So that's another way that you can use icons. For more PowerPoint hacks, go to our YouTube channel at Mr. Long Teacher Tips. Click on the subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, and make sure you share us with your other teacher friends so we can help them as well. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long way.